Okay, my name is Akashi guys and in this video here we're going to be using my favorite unit of all time because he has finally rerun for the 6th anniversary after party. You know he's a VIP so he had to come back after the fact, you know fashionably late. But it's good timing nonetheless given that we just got Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's release. He also returned with Gogeta Blue but we're going to be using only Vegito Blue in this video. Now given I just gassed him up, I'm not advising that you actually summon for his rerun because I think Corrupted Zamasu is an easier unit to use who is also a much cheaper option available in the game. So I don't think you need Ultra Vegito Blue especially if you're going to get him for the first time at the lower star level but he is one of the most fun units to use in my opinion anyways. You'll see what he can do in this video. I'm going to be using him on this Fusion Warrior team where he's going to be 4 times Zenkai buffed and that's just coincidentally. Corrupted Zamasu is also 3 times Zenkai buff. it's 4 if you count himself and then G4 got no Zenkai buffs because he's 14 stars which I'm due to do that showcase that's all i've got to say for this intro let's get straight into this gameplay surprisingly vegeto blue is coming up a lot in pvp dare i say he's even a top 10 unit that might be pushing it but of course i know what he can do and i know how to use him correctly let's get into this right so ideally what you want to do is put him in the right scenario so that you can one shot somebody which would mean utilizing his um vanish removal I'm just going to sprint all of these cards out to get out of his counter. If you get his Vanish removal out in the right way, you can literally force the enemy to get one shot. It's insane. Mid-range strike. Like right there, he used it to actually just get a quick priority. And there's no issue with that, except for the fact that I'm going to be able to counter him. Which I'm not going to let him do this early. I'm going to save it. UVB also gets his ultimate early. I think it's 25 time accounts. So that also allows you to get an easy one shot if you get him in the right scenario, which I'm going to aim for. So what I need him to do is hit me with a strike heart and I just vanish step it. Then I switch into him in main. Okay, that was actually pretty good. Let's hope that it destroyed the ultimate. That was actually tough. But I can counter it regardless if he hits the ult. Uh, let's do the, Let's do this. I'm going to assume that he destroyed it, you know. Oh, I didn't glide forward. I tried to glide forward, but it didn't activate the way I wanted it to. Oh, and I must have destroyed... He must have destroyed his ultimate when he did what he did. What a shame. Ooh, almost got me there. He's in one-shot territory. Okay, he doesn't want to attack me. He's playing real passive. It's like he knows that I'm going to use UVB to just take him out. And that's all I'm waiting for, I'm not going to lie. This first game is literally an example of how powerful he can be off the switching. What a shame. He can count me. I'm fine with that. I still got my banish. How passive this guy is is actually driving me insane. I mean, I don't really blame him. Finally. I'm low-key a rat for that. I'm high-key a rat for that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I I was I'm high-key a rat for that. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Now we can play. I'm sorry for withholding the UVB content in this in this video, but like that was worth it. I think that was very much worth it. I think you guys will let me slide. You know. He, now he's gonna get three kills in a row. I think that was it was worth it, man. Come on, let's not lie, guys. Let's not lie, guys. UVB getting three kills in a row would be worth it. Yeah, look, let me get the three kills before I talk crazy. Okay, Zach did not get the three kills. Well, not yet. Uh, I don't really want to win with Zamasu. I don't really have a choice. Okay, I got two kills. 
It was still worth it. It was still worth it. Trust me. Okay, now that we've had that first game, we're just showing you how annoying he can be off an easy switching. I'm actually going to use him normally. So I'm just going to use his vanish removal to just get priority so that I can actually use him in game so you can see his strike damage and things like that. All right, let's move. I think what was interesting there for me was the timing of him moving backwards. That's what shocked me the most. It seemed like he did it a bit late. If I had Blast Arm, I would have cooked him. Is what it is, though. Is he going to strike me here? Okay, I have to kind of go aggressive. UVB switch there could have worked, but it wasn't the perfect scenario. I'd rather get a good scenario. I might accidentally get another one shot this game. With the way I've lost priority so many times so early on, I might just have to do it again, but not intentionally this time, you know. If I can get G4 out of here, I'll take that, you know. Seems he's taking a lot of damage. I might just let him die, I'll be honest. Like, I'm actually not worried about him. This guy's very worried. You can see by the way he plays. Might maybe a PV. Okay, nice little counter. Just give me the chance. Uh, how'd that go? All right, he can switch out if he wants. Whoever it hits, it's going to kill. But if it gets Nappa, you know that's beneficial for us. Which is what we're looking for. He should be worried about the fact that I'm going to switch into UVB. Like, literally in the next play. If he catches me, though, I just I do realize UVB's dead. But if I catch him, somebody's dead. I think. I'm glad I played it patient. Can my side steps register, please? It's okay. How many time accounts are we in? Oh, I should have used the blue card tech. Kind of fumbled that. Well, I got him there. Oh, watch this. UVB is going to do insane amount of damage here. I'm going to not worry about it. I'm expecting Vegito to come in. Okay, I guess not. Fine. I'm going to hit him with a blast. I think he's very patient. So I can afford to just do the blast. Look at that strike damage. Somebody is probably dead. 1.6 mil. I can see that easily killing. Some people might not see the vision, but I know my Vegito, bruh. He's actually nasty. Told you. Okay, I have to switch here because he took my vanish. And this is not a UG4 showcase. Full screen. Yikes. Good blue card. If he went for the ult, would have been bad for him. Have I even... Oh, he's still got one more untouchable. Mm-hmm. We have the blue card here. We didn't... Ha Actually, no. We could have just waited, but I think this is the best choice. Definitely the best choice. Now it's whoever wins this, I think. Maybe? Oh! He's pissed. He's pissed. He's pissed. He's... <laughs> 999 is crazy. I took too many risks that game, but that was pretty fun.
I have not seen Ultra UI in such a long time, but he's not really stopping anything. By anything, I mean specifically Ultra Vegito Blue. I'm going to do the switch. Good damage. That's why I specified Ultra Vegito Blue early on. I had to do that. I would have been cooked if I didn't. Twenty-five time accounts almost over. Oh, he got me before I got him. I was looking at the time accounts, trying to worry about the priority. Here we go. Good drop, I guess. Could have sold that actually if I committed to like a vanish. If he wants to, oh, I'll let him. I mean, what a shame. He can bring in CMZ, I think. Yeah, but I, this should still be a body. It's like one ultimate, one kill. G4 is one ultimate, one kill. Use one ultimate, get one kill free. It's actually obscene. Yeah. The thing is as well, um, CMZ is quite a tanky one too. You saw that almost didn't kill. Obviously still did. Okay, so my sidestep just didn't want to register. Oh, he got hold. Too desperate. Now let's see what we can make shake here. Well, you can have G4. Normally I wouldn't let people have G4, but I actually don't care in this case. And I'd rather just have a red that's going to survive for the most part. Oh, how unfortunate. Oh, it doesn't force its way in. Okay. Okay, what was I doing? That's type neutral, but is it going to kill? We'll find out. UVB defense feats. You know, let's find out. It might. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, it low key did. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, four times they kept off, it low key did. You, I, hey, I thought I said we have nothing to worry about. We still didn't, but damn. I think I might make this the last game. I don't know, depends on how it goes. Oh, start the wrong way. Alright, I've kind of been abusing, you know, the vanish removal. So I'm actually gonna get him in here. G4 V Vegito half health from one of you guys, I think. Yeah, half health. Go ahead, tax switch for me. Even worse. Oh, I've got cover now. It's okay. I noticed my cover now last second. I looked down. I guess not ult this game. Seems he might eat that. No joke. There's like a 40% chance he eats this. I 
Those percentages don't lie. The Zenkai boss aren't only for Vegito. Zamasu's on the team for a reason. Okay. He's gonna get like at least three more cards because of his striker sword and his gauge filling. Love Gogeta, man. Are you done? Oh, I might have to let him die. As in G4. If he gets his rush. I'm going to do the blast here. GB, please. I'd rather fight. Yeah. I would have switched into UVB, but you know how G-Force counter is. It just isn't convenient to, to deal with. Wasted his vanish. Okay. Oh, that locks in. Actually, I think it's fine anyways. He's type neutral for this. Damn, he's making some good plays. Hold on, I need to lock in before chat says, Oh my God, Zach, you're selling. You're selling. All right, here's my chance to lock in. Okay, you can't say nothing about that. Come on. 996, when I locked in, I got 994. When do I ever get good taps? When do I ever get good taps? Like, that has to be the world working against me. Like, I did get UVB in a good position here, but come on. I'm going to blue card here, hoping I can kill G4. High aspirations. Ho, ho! That's why you always aim high. Okay, I did not lock in the second time. But then he doesn't lock in. Okay. GG's, I guess, man. But that, that was some BS that game. I'm not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> UVB did his thing. UVB did his thing, man. Calm, calm the win, calm the win. But yeah, man, that's going to be it for the showcase. It's not anything that you wouldn't expect. UVB does his thing. He's a literal sniper. The vanish removal ult. Free kill. One ult, one free kill. Every single time. It's very, very smooth. I use it every single game nowadays with this team. This team is just so fun. G4 is already fun. UVB has been fun. It's a year and he's still cooking like this. And with CMZ in existence, you can make this powerful team. But like I said at the start of the video, you don't necessarily need him. But of course, he is a fun unit to use. You guys saw the results though, so you guys do what you gotta do. Not advising for it though. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you haven't already, make sure to press that subscribe button. We're on this grind to 100,000 subscribers. I appreciate you guys for watching, man. My name is Akashi, guys, and I will see you guys in the next one, man.